everybody and welcome back with CAC. Uh, today's video I'm going to be doing a uh, follow-up to my last one on the Western Food Festival and today I'm going to be looking at all the bits that I bought and brought home with me. Um, so I'm just going to go through those one by one. The first thing I'm going to try, as always starting with the savoury, is from the Somerset Deli is their um, truckle of cheese and this is, uh, I don't know if you can see on there, cave aged cheese because um, around here locally we've got, well, cheddar which is where obviously cheddar was invented and cheddar is known for its caves and so there are actually some caves where they pop in like their big massive um, blocks of cheese and leave them to mature in the caves and it kind of like gives them a stronger more robust flavor um, <clears throat> this one is actually from Wookie Hole uh, which is again one of the caves around here locally um, so I'm gonna pop this open and I'm gonna have a little bit for breakfast on a toasty and uh, we'll see how it holds up so I'll leave you with some of their info and I'll be back uh, with something to taste Okay, so here I have my toasty, or at least half a toasty, because I ran out of bread. Um, so we're going to try the cheese. First of all, I've got a little bit of a chunk here, just to give it a, a blind taste. Mm. Yeah, it does have that really sharp flavour that kind of hits you at the back of the, the back of the jaw, and then it just melts completely. There you go, you chew it and it just breaks apart into this nice creamy sort of texture. Not the sharpest cheese I've ever had, but it's really nice. Very nice and creamy, a lot of flavour to it. So let's give a little bite of my toasty. Mm. Yeah, just nice and soft. And you've got that sort of like juice to it. And there we go, a nice creamy sort of melt there. Lovely. Not too stringy, but yeah. Really creamy and it really holds its flavour. So, mm, very nice cheese. Yeah, it's not like extra mature, which is my preferred cheese, but. Still a very nice sharp flavour. So a good one to get. So next up I'm going to go with the scotch egg from Nuts Scotch Eggs. There we are. Um, you've got quite a range of different sort of like blends and flavours that they do with uh, rather amusing names such as Egg Sheeran and uh, Tandoori Bad Boy. Cheeky Streaky. So yeah. I um, went for one just here, you can see they're quite a decent size. This one is called Scrumpy Janet, um, which said on the description that it was made with cider, um, a locally brewed cider called Janet's Jungle Juice, uh, which is something I've tried before. Unfortunately, they weren't any at the festival this time, but um, it's a very nice, strong, fruity cider, which when you drink it, it's kind of like being punched in the mouth with an apple. That's how strong it is. But um, I'm going to try it in here, see uh, what it tastes like. I'm just going to slice it apart and see what it looks like on the inside before taking a big bite. Oop. There we go, quite decently thick and chunky. There we go. Nice big scotch egg there and unlike the ones that you buy in like the supermarkets there's no air around them it's all just fully stuffed uh, which is good so let's separate them up a bit just to see taste them separately let's give a, a bite of the meat first of all mm. 
Mmm. Yep, the flavour's definitely in there. You can taste there is a hint of like sweetness with it. And it's kind of like not oh, pork and apple. So if you have like a pork dinner with apple sauce, it's that kind of thing. It doesn't have the characteristic kick of uh, the jungle juice by itself, but mm, it makes for a nice sweet flavour. Let's um give a bite to the egg as well. Mm. Nice and soft, and the yolk on the inside is just creamy and crumbles away. So, have a bite of them both together. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Definitely better than any that you could just buy in the supermarket. There's definitely a lot more flavour to it. A lot thicker, a lot more chunky. And just generally good as a nice little um nice little snack on the go I suppose but yeah very nice very tasty and I'm sure all of the other flavors that they had listed are good just as tasty as well so uh, yeah definitely recommend those guys that's um, nuts scotch eggs And now we move on to the desserts. First up, we have something from the Kitchen Chef, um, which are, is a bakery stall that make uh, little tarts and cakes and brownies and things like that. And I've picked up a uh, Morello Celli Cherry Bakewell Tart. Uh, Bakewell Tart is a bit of uh, a British classic, uh, but this one has obviously put a new little spin on it with like lots of flaky almonds on the top there and it all seems very sweet and shiny so let's give it a taste and see mm. oh very nice as you bite in immediately it's very moist very easy to chew through and you see on the inside here we've got um this is frangipani which is a kind of uh, almond based um, creamy custard kind of thing I suppose um, it's basically like softer and creamier marzipan I guess you could say um, the base is very crispy it stay stays nice and crispy despite like all the moist filling in it so it's great and then you've got oop, the cherries here which are very soft and sweet with just that little bit of uh, sour tanginess to it and again the almonds have also stayed nice and crispy and uh, you know it's not turned soggy or anything which is like the last thing you want from a tart but yep these are very nice mm. and again there were lots of other flavors there such as um banana cream, uh, banoffee, um, pistachio and raspberry, which is one that I had last time. I thought I'd try something different this time. Um, but yes, I'm sure the others would be just as good as this one. So yeah, very nice. Definitely recommend checking them out. Next one I'm going for is the Big Bakes Bakery, uh, from which I chose a whoopie pie because, well, I've never had one before and I didn't really know what they were until I actually saw them. Apparently we have uh, buttercream between two cookies, something like that. I've gone for the red velvet flavour because that's some not something I uh, get very often. Uh, 
does look a lot bigger than it actually did on the stand. I've never tried one before, so let's uh, let's give it a go. Mm. Kind of like soft and crunchy at the same time, which is a bit a bit weird to say. The uh, filling is very soft. And light and creamy. Mm. Yeah, just like a nice light vanilla flavour. And the cookie is very chewy and crumbly. Mm. Yeah, very nice. I probably won't finish all this in one go because it is quite big. And I don't normally have so much at once, but. Yep, they're very nice, so um, I'm going to pop up, pop up their information and uh, you can go check them out if you want. Uh, next, I'm moving on to Pretty Little Bakes, um, which attracted my attention mainly because of lots of um, colourfully decorated cupcakes. And since uh, Easter is coming up now, I decided to go for one of these, which is a, well, a mystery egg cupcake. Um, this could be one of anything. It could be a Cadbury's cream egg, it could be a caramel egg, or an Oreo egg. So. Uh, there's only one way to find out, really, and that's um, to bite into it. Oop. The cupcake does seem to be falling apart a bit, so it's a bit. Uh, right, let's have a go. Oop. It's very light and spongy. One thing that sometimes puts me off about cupcakes is if they can be too dense and too dry, uh, which makes it hard to get through them. But this one seems okay. Yeah, very light, not too heavy. The buttercream seems to be just plain chocolate, from what I can tell. Right, and let's just try the egg. And it is Cadbury's cream egg. <laughs> but yeah, quite small, quite simple. Not a bad cupcake because, well, it's hard to make a bad cupcake, to be honest. But um, yeah, just a nice little snack. Okay, and to finish off, I'm going to go with the fancy marshmallows from the Grown Up Marshmallow Company. Um, I've got uh, raspberry and dark chocolate flavour here, and uh, I'm going to toast them first of all, because you've got to have a nice toasted marshmallow. So while I go and get my equipment, I'll go and show you uh, a little demo from the people themselves. They are quite big pieces, which is good, and they're quite firm as well on the outside, so they've got like a crisp outer shell. Right, so there we go, and let's, uh, let's get toasting. There we go. Some crisp up on the outside, lovely bubbly. Might be a bit difficult. 
difficult on that bit because it's got the chocolate and we don't want the chocolate to uh, get too many. There we go. There we are, that's starting to crisp over a little bit. Woohoo, there we go. Right. Let's uh, give it a taste. Mmm, nice and gooey. Mmm, yeah, very strong raspberry flavour, like, immediately comes through. Mmm. Mm, just like very fruity and gooey. <laughs> exactly what you want from a marshmallow, really. And the chocolate. Mmm. You know, the chocolate has melted slightly as well with it. It's um, not dark chocolate, it is actually milk. And it's like just enough to offset the overall flavour. Mmm. Yeah, and it just all comes through the fruit. Ooh, there's a little bit of nuttiness in there as well. Mmm, yeah. And um, they do all sorts of flavours, uh, fruity flavours. they got um, peanuts, salted caramel. Um, trying to think what else. I think they do um, an elderberry flavour as well, and gin, elderberry and gin. But either way, as they say, grown-up marshmallows, there are a lot of rather fancy flavours, rather than just your typical pink and white marshmallow. Um, and they're always really nice. So um, if you ever see them out and about, or if you want to look them up on the uh, website, I'd um, definitely recommend checking them out if you're a fan of marshmallows, because uh, they really are just absolutely delicious. And that's it for this video. Uh, it's been a nice a little selection of things, uh, just to see sort of like the kind of things that are locally available. Because, um, you know, I do believe it's always important to support your local producers whenever you can. Because, um, you know, it's uh, the small businesses that need the most help in times like these. Um, not to mention, they often make uh, unique little things that you just can't find anywhere else. Um, so, anyone who is in the UK then you might be able to find these things get some nice deliveries going on I don't know if any of them ship internationally but it might be worth looking into at some point um, and with that um, I don't know maybe you guys could share some of the things that uh, you know you get locally that don't get found anywhere else because you know unique little things are always fun to share with each other but uh, that's it for now um, I think it's been quite a busy uh, busy couple of weeks. I haven't really expected to make this many videos all at once, but uh, I think it's nice that all these things have kind of come together. Uh, I don't know when my next video will be, but uh, I'm sure it'll be with something new and interesting. Um, I think probably my next um, video will be on sort of like American snacks, because um, they are quite easy to find around here if you just uh, know the places to go to. Uh, they are a bit more expensive than um, obviously your normal shopping but uh, just for a little one-off video I think it might be uh, worth experimenting with some uh, new snacks but uh, until then uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye, -bye.